I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Solution 2 GCSE Test Problems. We have many subscribers and viewers who are interested in this topic and therefore we have a very special playlist for them. I'd like you to explore and share this playlist. The question here is based on probability. There are some red counters and some blue counters in a bag. The ratio of red counters to blue counters is 3 is to 1. Two counters are removed at random. The probability that both the counters taken are blue is 1 over 20. Work how many counters were in the bag before any counter were removed. Now these questions may involve a lot of statements, but as you go through them, you can define your variables and easily solve them. So they are not very difficult to solve. So I hope few examples like this will help you gain the confidence of always getting a right answer. Now let's begin by understanding what is given. There are some red counters and some blue counters. Okay, in a bag. The ratio of red counters to blue counters is 3 is to 1. So whenever we say ratio, that means we can involve a variable here and we are saying red counters to blue counters. So we can say 3 times x, right? And the blue will be x. Does it make sense to you? Now always this ratio will be 3 is to 1, right? Now here key is that you have to work with total, right? So whenever you do this, you have to write total also. So when you add these two, what do you get? You get 4x. In probability, the denominator is total, right? Now it says two counters are removed at random. The probability that both the counters taken are blue is 1 over 20. So we are taking out 1 and then again 1 and both are blue, right? So that statement clearly shows that it is without replacement. Do you see that? So without replacement means that for the first time when you are taking out, you have x blues. Now if you have already withdrawn 1, one less is left. You get the idea, right? Now it says work how many counters were in the back before. So you need to find the total sum were there before you removed them, correct? So I hope now the question is absolutely clear. Now let's see. So now let's say we'll do like this. First, blue, right? So we are looking for the probability of first blue. Is that okay? So probability is the ratio of success. So how can you, how, what is the possibility? There are x blues, right? So, so x over total is 4x. Now, now we have to see probability of second blue also, right? So, so that means you don't have to miss, but We'll first break it like second blue. Uh, given that first one is blue, right? So, okay, let me say, okay, also was not bad, but we kind of combine and write them together later. So the blue chips have reduced by one. So we get now X minus one. And you realize the total also reduced by one since you have taken or withdrawn one. Is that clear? Now when we write what we want to find, which is probability that both are blue. So when we say both blue, it means product, right? That means a condition which is saying and, right? First blue and second also blue. That is kind of important to understand. So whenever you get and into picture, they get multiplied, correct? So, so what we get here is x over 4x. And means you have to multiply them. And the second one is x minus 1 over 4x minus 1. And it is given to you that this probability is 1 over 20. Is that clear? So once you get the equation, it is not very difficult to solve. 
perfect so this is uh, I hope these steps are absolutely clear now let us see how to solve them we can always cancel this X simplify a bit right now we could also simplify this portion it becomes 5 so let me re rewrite this equation as x minus 1 equals 2 1 over 20 times 4 times 4x minus 1 so I purposely wrote like this to show you one more step and that is we could have cancelled from here also but at times that creates confusion so so I'm doing like this so I cross multiplied not exactly retained x minus 1 the numerator here and then cross this thing on the other side to just to show you that this could be further simplified right now we'll actually complete our cross multiplication and then solve the equation right so we get 5 times x minus 1 equals 2 4x minus 1 now in any test paper it is always better to simplify and then find the answer so now we get 5x minus 5 equals to 4x minus 1. Let's bring the variables together. So we get 5 on the other side. So clearly x is equals to 5 minus 1 which is 4. So what we have got here is number of the blue counters. What do we want? Work how many counters were in the packs. We want total, right? So, so to start with we have 3x. So 3 times x will be 3 times 4 which is which is 12 right and then x is is 4 so the total is how much 16 do you get an idea so we get the answer as 16 is that clear so there were 16 to begin with perfect so I hope the steps are absolutely clear I've seen many questions like this and I hope if you follow these steps it should be very simple to solve all of them Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.